Okay, so let's go to create new and 250 by 250, that's perfect. And let's look at the standard banner sizes just in case you guys want to see those. These are the standard banner sizes and you can uh, reference those in case you're making a, a an animated GIF banner for standard uh, advertising banner use but if this is for you just for your site it could be any size you want so let's go ahead and change the canvas to black and let's make a very simple animation just for an example to show you how the key keyframing works so yeah let's just put an arrow start it real stubby like that oh wait oh, let's put it on yeah I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> okay so let's put an arrow down here let's turn it just go to scale and use the skew effect there and you can hold down shift to make it snap to certain angles or you can free free spin it free skew it alright so that's frame one so this is what it looked like on frame one. Now on frame two, you might say, how do you make frame two now? You go into states here. And if states isn't available here, you go up to window, states. And then you can refer to this state one. You can think of that as frame one. So you're making frame by frame animations here. And this is set to a delay speed of 15 let's set it to like 12 that's good now if you want to duplicate this state let's say if we went down here to duplicate it's not going to retain the graphics when it makes the new state watch state 2 there's no graphics see so let's get rid of that one now the way to do it to retain the graphics is right click the present or the state that you want to duplicate duplicate state right there you select how many I just want one. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and do do them all. I want it to be five. So we'll make five more states after the current state. Okay. Boom. There they are. Now all you got to do is edit your images that would be on this state. Uh, or if you wanted to go state by state to go, uh, you know, build your animation up. Let's go ahead and remove these and you would just go duplicate state okay manipulate it here like that duplicate state make another one a third frame and you're gonna manipulate your object here make that a little bigger too then duplicate state okay right there and let's make this a little wider there we go now in the last state you can just put something like duplicate state okay and put some text on the fifth one to say download oops and on these keyframe animations you know I'm not using images or anything but uh, there's no reason why you just can't see what I'm doing here and swap use images in these keyframes same thing so let's press play and see what we got there there's your animated banner animation you can use images in yours tween them in use the alpha so you can go to alpha settings so you can bring this thing faded in over a couple of frames all kind of neat stuff now let's show you how to export it for the web export wizard let me show you file export wizard it says select an export format press ok continue uh, animated gif is what we want continue and let's test it out here perfect okay so we go to export 
put it on the desktop save it as download animation save and that's it close that out we're done now we go to this download animation open it up there you put that on the web on your website it's an animated gif just like you'd put any other picture on your website okay hope that was helpful for any, some of you beginners